Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Tiny Vegan, and if you haven't been here before, please like and subscribe if you'd like to. It really helps me, and I really do appreciate it. So, in today's video, we're doing a new in Aldi taste test, as promised. So, when we went to Aldi, they we had to go to literally like two different Aldis to try and get everything because I knew they had stuff, but they just didn't have them in some of the Aldis. So, you might have to look around to get everything. But I thought we'd start off with the frozen stuff first because obviously I had to cook that, so I want to eat that while it's hot to get the whole experience. So we got this whole big bag with stuff falling out of it is the new in stuff from Aldi, if you can see that. So we'll start off, I brought myself a knife so I can show you the textures. So we start off with the vegan chicken nuggets. They come in this bag, they're the no chicken nuggets. And you, they're coated in crispy breadcrumb and you literally just cook them for like 18 to 20 minutes until they're like crispy. I like them a little bit crispier so I keep them in longer than the recommended cooking time. So I thought these were a funky shape as well, like more realistic to chicken nuggets, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I've never, I did not have I, yeah, I must have seen a chicken nugget. But I'll do a close up by the side of me on one side of the screen of what it looks like inside. They're good, but what they need is tomato sauce and sweet chilli. Right, if I'm honest, um, if any of you have tried the vegan chicken nuggets from Tesco's, those are really, really good. And they're actually, I think those are nicer than these. I think they have more of a flavour. These are quite bland by themselves, but I don't know, chicken nuggets don't usually taste of a lot? I don't know. So, I can't compare them to actual nuggets. But they don't taste of a lot, but that's why they're really good with sweet chilli and ketchup because they sort of take on that flavour and then they're just so good. So next we got the no cheese bakes. I was so excited about these. These are onion potato wrapped in a golden light puff pastry. You cook for 25 to 28 minutes. The way they put potato in the title, that kind of put me off if I'm honest. Oh, the pastry feels good. So as I said, I cooked this for a little bit longer and I put some soya milk on the top. No, it doesn't say that you need to do it, but I just, I always do it because I think it makes it look nicer. It feels like it's got a good amount of filling. It's quite hefty. Right, the pastry's good. The pastry is really nice. The pastry is like like Greg's pastry almost, but not thick. I don't taste the potato, which I'm pleased about. But I'm not sure how I feel about the cheese. At first I don't like it, and then after a minute I'm like, hmm. I'm that weird person who prefers the pastry to the actual filling. So for me... This has too much filling, but I think for everyone else that will be a good thing, you know? Right, if I'm honest, it's just sludge. Maybe this is a bad representation, maybe you shouldn't listen to me if you like a cheese and onion pasty from Greg's. So, because I don't like them, because I think they're like, it's too much slime, it's just like kind of slodgy. I'm not fussy, I'll eat a lot, but I'm not really, I don't really want to finish this. I'm going to eat it because I want to see if it grows on me, you know? Because sometimes you'll have a few bites, you'll be like, oh, I don't like it. And then after a while, you'll be like, okay, this is quite, quite nice. Oh. Right. No. No. No, no, no. Right, I have a verdict. I don't like it at all. I think it's disgusting. The thing is, though, I don't like the filling. <laughs> I'll eat the pastry, but I don't like the filling. I think, I know it sounds weird because it doesn't look like there's loads of filling in it. Like, if I show you this um, one, which isn't cooked, obviously. it does, I guess it looks like a substantial amount, doesn't it? It looks like you'd want them to be, like, filled up. Otherwise, you'd be like, oh, there's no filling in this. But then, for me, there's too much filling. The filling's, like, the bit that I don't want to eat. I'm sorry, Aldi. You've let me down. So, next, I got these churros. So... If you didn't know, the Tesco churros in, in Christmas time, I think it's only at Christmas time that they bring out these um, own brand churros. And those are really good, and those are accidentally vegan. I found these in Aldi, and I'm not sure if they bring it out because it's getting close to Christmas, or they have these all year round. But I thought I'd show you because it's something I discovered at Aldi which was vegan, so I thought I'd share. Oh 
oh my god or do you regain my faith those are fucking incredible no those are better than definitely better than tesco one definitely they're kind of crispy outside and then they're soft inside and the chocolate and then they come with um cinnamon sugar go go and get some of these next we'll go for these veggie straws if i'm honest i don't have high hopes for these because i feel like spinach tomato and kale are like really strong flavors especially not in crisps oh oh what was the one that i just had was it this color yeah oh what was that color right this color which i don't know this is, if this is spinach or kale green ones disgusting orange ones slightly less disgusting yellowy quite okay actually yeah those just taste like potato this honestly this tastes like this is why people don't like vegetables oh no you see at first it's fine it tastes like a normal crisp and then you get this aftertaste unimpressed and these are not the best but i can deal i like oh gee what are you playing at really left them the side down with these vegan options but their vegan burgers and their vegan steak bake is really good so i don't know what it's saying and the vegan pizzas are good no i'm sorry no i think it's like healthy type things and like, i'm all for healthy things but no so next we have these vegan cheese tortilla crisps i'm kind of hoping that these will not be like the tesco cheese balls because the Tesco's cheese balls are one of the most disgusting things I've tried in my entire life. We'll give it a go. We'll see what we think. Right. I can't even smell cheese. I just smell tortillas. Right. These are actually pretty good. Only thing I would say is they're not as cheesy as they could be. The cheese that I can taste, I really like. But I'd like it if they were more cheesy. You know when you get this unsalted tortilla crisps? So they're not like, they don't taste like lightest, lightly salted, they have a bit of flavour, they're just plain. They taste like that, and then you'll get a mild taste of cheese. Not as cheesy as I would like. I thought they were going to be disgusting cheese, because that was disgusting. But no, I'm quite impressed. Next, we'll do the cookies. So... This is the vegan fruity flapjack cookie. Delicious vegan flapjack cookies with plump, juicy raisins. Oh, they smell good. Oh, yes. Mm. I can definitely taste the desiccated coconut. No. It's less of a taste, it's more of the desiccated coconut texture. It doesn't say coconut on the front, but I could tell that there was desiccated coconut in there. And not really because of the taste, because of the texture. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. These are really good, I really like these. But, one thing I would say, is that they're a bit of a funny texture. It's like, they're really good taste, they smell really good, they're just really good in general. But they're... They're crumbly, but not in a normal crumbly way. As soon as you bite into it, it's like separated completely. Whereas I feel like a crumbly cookie, like it'll crumble if you like break it in half or something, but it won't like crumble everywhere. That is tasty. Then we've got the vegan chunky chocolate chip cookies. These are delicious vegan cookies with rich chocolate chips. I think I've had these before actually, because they used to have these cookies out last year, I think it was. They smell incredible they smell like maryland cookies oh my god i used to fucking love maryland's they just smell like that exactly like that actually see that's more of a biscuit so although they're both cookies that that breaks like a biscuit oh my god these taste like are they double chocolate maryland's purple packet 
for what I remember me, purple and red. They literally taste like that. They've got the same kind of texture, possibly a little bit drier than Maryland's. But if they were thinner, and obviously smaller, because Maryland's are little, aren't they? Then this would literally be like a Maryland. We're going to do this next, because we want to get this out of the way. I bought these about a week ago. I had one, and I was like, <laughs> what is this? It literally tastes like a canned chickpea in a bit of chocolate. You don't eat canned chickpeas straight at the counter for a reason. I'm going to literally have to force myself to try this on camera because I really don't like them. They honestly make me feel sick. In my head, I was like, oh, I'll try these and I'm sure I like them. So I'll finish them off and then I'll buy another packet for this video. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh. Oh. The aftertaste. Oh. I, I really expected big things out of that and I was like, oh, it's great, it's protein, it's a, it's a little treat. No, it's disgusting, don't eat it. Fertile protein deficiency. <laughs> Next, we'll go with these chocolates. So these are the vegan friendly fine chocolates, intense dark chocolate truffles, 72% cocoa, 100% plant-based ingredients, and no palm oil. Save the earth, it is the only planet with chocolate. Cocoa dusted dark chocolate truffles filled with a dark chocolate ganache. That's really good though. No, no palm oil. Compostable in a bag, and it's a carbon balanced paper as well. Can't fault that. Let's be honest. They're just little truffles like this. I have had. I don't think I've had these one before. I've had the the other truffles which are in my bag before. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty nice actually. But one thing I say is I don't think they're sweet enough. I don't know if I just have really proper sweet tooth now. They're nice, they're very nice actually. But they are like, I think they're about four quid, so three ninety nine, so very expensive. Oh, these are vegan friendly fine chocolates, pink Him Himalayan salt caramel truffles, 72% cocoa. These are cocoa dusted dark chocolate truffles oozing a sweet caramel with pink Himalayan salt. I do like a salted chocolate though, like a sea salt chocolate. Oh, yes. So I can show you the actual box. They come in this compostable bag. So you get 11 truffles in a bag. They all have this little dimple. What is this little dimple, Aldi? I don't know. Yes and no. But it's only a little bit no and it's a big bit yes. I think the caramel inside is too runny. I think it would be better if it was more of a, not a proper solid one, but just a bit more firm, a bit, it been set a bit more. I'm not sure I'd buy them again for four quid. I don't know which one I prefer actually. I think they're both pretty good. I'd say definitely if you want something sweet to go for this. And if you want something a bit more bitter, if you like the bitterness of dark chocolate, go for that. So last but not least are the vegan marshmallows. So I've had these before actually. I had a um, vegan hot chocolate with some Aldi marshmallows on top. These are 99p and if you go to like Holland Barrel, which is the only other place which I found vegan marshmallows and they're honestly, they're about £2.50, £3 for a bag and the marshmallows are tiny. Palm oil free, fat free, gluten free, natural colours and flavours and vegan. So yeah, white and pink, the Mallows is the only other company that I found. Those are like probably quarter of the size, half the size, the other marshmallows and these are really nice. I think the white ones and the pink ones taste a bit different. Are they meant to? I don't know. I don't think I've... No, I've probably never had proper marshmallows. But no, these are really good. 100% recommend getting them. And even if you don't like them, they were 99p. Like, you're not... It's not exactly like you don't like them and you spent four quid on them, you know? You literally spent 99p. So, in this haul, the things I'd recommend you actually going out right now and buying would be the churros, the two types of cookies and these marshmallows so i hope you enjoyed this video i had a really good time taste testing it let me know if you've tried any of it and what you thought of it like if you like these chickpeas i'd like to try your palette for the day please <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely week and i'll see you next time Let's all fly.